bring me the horizon. I'm compelled to ask for somebody to bring me the Pepto-Bismol due to how nauseated I feel when I listen to their shitty screamo music. First, I will start with their epically pathetic female lead singer, Alice X. Her vocals sound like her butt plug has pinched her anus every time she lets out one of her supposed brutal screams, and her lyrics consist of her exploits of her getting shit-faced at parties and sucking the dicks of random men, which culminates into the ultimate act of promiscuity when she writes about how she sucked Shaquille O'Neal's three-foot-long cock in the sound gray for plagues which resulted in Shaq's joint impaling her through the skull, which explains the lack of intelligence and creativity in her vocals and lyrics. Next, we go to their guitar players, if you can call them that. Lee Malia and Joe Wingenhofen, let me tell you something about these hapless sissies. They actually live up to all of the stereotypes that extreme metal haters place upon the extreme metal genre. They literally randomly stroke their down-tuned little kitty guitars with their Keepler elf-sized hands over and over again, and somehow convince people it's metal. So they fail as well. Now, we move on to their non-existent bass player, and a story there. So now we get to the last piece of this sorry-ass puzzle, the drummer. Mad Nichols, since Bring Me the Horizon are under the impression that playing their guitars and drums as fast as they can equals quality metal, they actually paid for their 12-year-old drummer to have his calves and forearms installed with remote-controlled triggers, so that some branded retard can mash on the buttons of the remote during concerts, which manipulates the limbs of the drummer to wail on the drum kit as fast as he can, so they can appear to be ultra-brutal. Anyways, that is the end of this true story. I hope you enjoyed, and remember, bring me the horizon sucks cock.